students of grade 11. In this lesson, you will be introduced to conditionals. What are conditionals? The basic meaning of conditional is that it depends on something else. In other words, conditional tenses are used to speculate about what could happen, what might have happened, and what we wish would happen. In English, most sentences using the conditional contain the word if. Many conditional forms in English are used in sentences that include verbs in one of the past tenses. This usage is referred to as the unreal past because we use a past tense but we are not actually referring to something that happened in the past. There are four main ways of constructing conditional sentences in English. In all cases, these sentences are made up of an IF clause and a MAIN clause. In many negative conditional sentences, there is an equivalent sentence construction using UNLESS instead of IF. Let's look at each aspect of this table and examine each point at length. The first conditional is the zero conditional. The zero conditional is used for when the time being referred to is now or always and the situation is real and possible. The zero conditional is often used to refer to general truths. The tense in both parts of the sentence is the simple present. In zero conditional sentences, the word if can usually be replaced by the word when without changing the meaning. Look at the table and look at the example. If you heat ice, it melts. If it rains, the grass gets wet. The IF clause is constructed using IF plus simple present and the main clause is constructed by the simple clause. Let's look at your pupil's book, page 126, unit 10, revision point. Let's look at the first point. If type 1, possible situations. If type 1 is used when we talk about real and possible situations. This is very similar to what we just discussed about general truths. They have given an example. If you work hard, you will pass the exam easily. Look at how it is constructed. If plus present simple and will plus infinitive. Let's look at some other examples. If I get to the train station early, I will be able to get a good seat on my ride back to Colombo. Notice how the construction discussed is formed. In this type 1 conditional, we refer to the present or the future to present a real situation. In other words, it is a possible condition and it's a probable result. If you work hard, you will pass the exam easily. The first clause is possible and the second clause is probable. As explained, the first clause in the simple present and the second clause is in the simple future. Now let's look at if type 2. This conditional can have imagined conditions or imaginary situations. If type 2 is used to talk about imaginary situations which may not occur in reality. Look at the example. If I won a lot of money, I would give some of it to the poor. The structure given in your book is if plus simple past and would plus infinitive. The type 2 conditional is used to refer to a situation that may be unreal. These sentences are not based on facts and refer to a hypothetical or imagined condition and its probable result. Let's look at some other examples. If you went to bed earlier, you would not be so tired. If it rained, you would get wet. If I spoke Italian, I would be working in Italy. The second clause is always a probable result. 
Let's now look at type 3 conditional. Impossible situations. If type 3 is used to talk about unreal or impossible things in the past, the situation described is contrary to the reality. Type 3 is used to refer to an unreal past condition and its probable past result. Let's look at the example given in your book. If you had run faster, you would have won the race. Look at how it is constructed. If plus past perfect and would plus have plus past participle or the perfect conditional or the perfect continuous conditional. Let's look at some more examples to give you a clearer understanding. If you had studied harder, you would have passed your exam. So as you can see, both actions are in the past and refer to unreal, impossible situations. None of what is mentioned in the example happened in reality, but it could have been possible. Let's look at the next example. If it rained, you would have got wet. The next example is, if I had accepted that promotion, I would have been working in Kandy. All of the examples given present unreal situations in the past that could have happened. I guess in order for you to get a firm idea on this, you might want to practice by doing some exercises. Look at page 127 of your pupil's book, Unit 10, Activity 10. Let's do it together. Fill in the blanks in the following conditional clauses. If there are enough job opportunities, skilled workers will stay in the country. If the government takes suitable actions, they will reduce brain drain. If these actions don't take place soon, the country will be affected by brain drain. If the educated professionals leave the country, they will not be able to assist the future generation in their motherland. If we serve our own country after finishing our studies, we will develop our motherland. As you can see, the type 1 conditional has been used for all these sentences. Let's look at the next question in Activity 10 and do it together as well. If you devote some time for your studies daily, you will do better at exams. If I were an educated professional in Sri Lanka, I would give back to my motherland and help future generations. If Nisali had run faster, she would have won the race. If Hasim had a bicycle, he would have come to school faster. If I saw a ghost, I would have screamed really loud. As you would have noticed, the first sentence is a type 1 conditional. That is, if plus simple present plus simple future. The next few sentences are in type 2 conditional. That is, if plus simple past plus present conditional or present continuous conditional. I hope this lesson was useful to you and you are somewhat confident with your conditionals. Remember, if you practice your grammar, you will find it easy to form sentences in English. Please do subscribe to our channel and have a very pleasant day.